guys, so we're back in it again, getting some more seafood. Um, we're trying a new place, it's called Crab Station, and I'll let you guys know how it is. break it down into eight parts, the success mindset into eight parts. So here's like the overview of the eight parts of the success mindset that I'd love if you all could just ingrain in your brain and in your character. And it's something that we should all work on day to day. But if you can work on this and strengthen all of these eight parts, then definitely you'll have a stronger mindset for success. And trust me, it will make all the difference. So number one is unwavering belief in yourself. Number two, commitment. Commitment to whatever goal or task at hand. Number three, patience because all things take time and you have to develop a strong patience. Number four, perseverance. You have to have the stamina to not give up no matter what. Number five, consistent action. So always valuing action over everything, taking consistent action. Number six, continuous improvement, constantly steering and tinkering, getting feedback and learning. Number seven, self-forgiveness, learning to forgive yourself as fast as possible. And lastly, number eight is gratitude. Always, always, always have that mindset of gratitude with you. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday. Um, I just got back from church and I went to um, breakfast with my mom. Um, right now, we're about to go look at a storage unit so I can move all of my stuff. Um, I don't know if I've said this in a vlog yet, but I will be moving home at the end of this month. I'll be moving home temporarily while I still look for a job. So I definitely need somewhere to put all of my furniture. Hey guys, so I just got back to my apartment. Um, it's a little bit after midnight. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to do today's challenge, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. For today's challenge, I'm supposed to play a video game that I like. So I'll probably play for like an hour or so. I don't know what I'm going to play yet, but I'll let you guys know what I choose. In the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of What the tongue. fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. <laughs> For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth, that's an order. I didn't black out, I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything.
I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. I am so on it, consider it done. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely, I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it.
Hey guys, so it is Monday. So I'm starting the vlog really late right now. It is almost 6 p.m. All I've really done today is um, apply for some jobs and catch up on how I met your mother. So for today's challenge, I'm supposed to treat myself and wear my favorite outfit. So for my treat today, I decided to pick up some Talenti Gelato. I got the chocolate chip cookie dough. It's really, really good. I would definitely um, recommend it. As far as my outfit goes, um, I'm probably going to end up wearing my favorite outfit tomorrow. So I'll show you guys that tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to end up doing much for the rest of the day. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Till I get up, time is barely on our side